Hi guys, so the main topic for the day is how can we all start solving lead code as a complete, complete beginner. I'll be sharing five tips with you guys and the fourth one is lifesaver. So stay tuned and let me tell you guys, I've struggled a lot on solving lead code problems during my initial days. And we as a beginner, how can we avoid that struggle is something what discussed in this video. My name is Ayush Singh and you're watching the 4-hour talk. So let's get started. This video is language independent. Whatever the language in which you are coding in, this video is for you. I personally choose C++ as my coding language. But if you haven't started coding yet, I would highly suggest you guys to start with Python because the syntax of Python is comparatively easier to digest. Before directly jumping into lead code, you guys should be having basic knowledge of how the syntax work, the for and while loop structure, how functions actually work. And if you're planning to start out in C++, you should be having knowledge of how STL works, so-called standard template library. Or if you're planning to start out your lead code journey in Java, you should be knowing what is Java collections. Playlist that I follow to brush up my basics and for my DSA journey as well is A to Z by Striver. Or if you're very much into reading, you can consider this book called Data Structures and Algorithm Made Easy by Narsima Karumachi. So this blue book is for C++. He offer books in two languages. One is C++ and the other one, the other color is in Java. Okay, so now that I'm done with everything, I'll move on to my lead code ka website that has more than 2,500 problems. But the question comes over here is, out of the 2,500 problems, what is the problem that I'll be solving or in which I am interested in? So the approach that I personally follow over here is, I'll move on to the playlist offered by Striver, so-called the A to Z playlist. I'll learn a topic from there. Let us say, for example, I'm learning linked list from the playlist offered by Striver. I'll be watching video lectures of linked list. Once I'm done with watching video lectures, I'll be reading about linked list in my Narsima Karumachi's book. And once I'm done with both of this step, I'll move on to my Striver's playlist again. He's offering neat code questions as well, which is divided in three segments, easy, medium, and hard in his playlist itself. I'll only be solving questions, which is in Striver's playlist. I'll not be looking any extra questions. So as a beginner, I'll be solving only easy and medium questions. I'll not even look into the hard questions. Until I'm done with 100 to 150 easy and medium questions, I'll not even look into my hard questions. And I'll be solving only the questions which is offered in playlist of Striver. Okay, so now after spending 40 to 60 minutes and loads of my brain energy into a single problem, it's very likely that I'll be forgetting the same problem if I look at it after a time span of one to two weeks. So what is the possible step that we can follow? Instead of writing out the whole syntax and memorizing it, I should be writing my steps instead of my syntax. I'll give you my example. There's this problem called set metric zeros, lead code 73 problem. And this is how I have written steps, which you guys can consider it as well. Plus, as we all know, there are over 20 to 50 algorithms that we guys need to remember. So I have this habit of associating a song to an algorithm or a particular code. Again, I'll give you my example. There's this problem called Kadan's algorithm or maximum sabare. Lead code 53. The song associated with the problem is, I don't give a shit. I'll keep on adding. But if the sum is lesser than zero, I'll do give a shit. So whenever I heard about the word maximum sabare or cadence algorithm, I'll sing a song. I don't give a shit, I'll keep on adding, but if the sum is lesser than zero, I'll do give a shit. I know it sounds a bit childish, but it really helps. And you can follow this step as well. After spending 40 to 60 minutes in a problem and still not being able to solve it, what to do I use if I'm stuck in a problem? It's completely okay if you're stuck in a problem. Go to the lead code solution sections and look for the maximum upvoted solution and try understanding it. Or there are a couple of extensions which would really help you called lead code explained and lead code video solutions, which would display the video solution of the actual problem in which you are appearing in the left side of your dashboard. Plus, you can also consider lead code timer, which would display as a timer and give you a real sense of how interview actually happens and lead code forcer which will help you to stay consistent in solving at least one DSA problem every day. Last but not the least, the question often hits our brain key, do we need to memorize solutions? If you'll ask me to be honest, I do memorize solution, but that is not very much overwhelming way. 
as we have discussed previously, you can assign a song or you can memorize the steps instead of memorizing the whole syntax. And with that, I'm ending our today's video. I'm literally glad if you're watching till now. That's it for the day, guys. Jai Shri Ram. Jai Hind. Love you all. If you're liking the video by any chance, drop down a comment, guys. That's it for the day. Bye.